Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome to my another brand new playlist. And this playlist is not like separate playlist. We are already talking about GraphQL in my previous videos. We covered Apollo GraphQL, we covered uh, Yoga GraphQL uh, with Express. Now it's time to talk about these things with Nest.js. So I'm going to add all these videos to the GraphQL master playlist. Okay, I will add that in the description. But like if you are already aware about how GraphQL works, how it works with Express and you wanted to explore how it is going to work with Nest.js because on my channel I have a lot of content on the Nest.js but all are talking about okay how to build a microservices and all but what about if I want to build a service which exposes the GraphQL interface instead of REST interface right so those things we are going to talk in this playlist so our focus in this playlist will be on different aspects first of all Nest.js GraphQL setup okay how to actually build the service from the baseline then how we can work with the different database like mongoose with the mongodb type orm with mysql postgres and then prisma with any of the sql or no sql database that is the main agenda and we are going to talk about multiple examples okay the main focus is how to how graphql query mutations and subscription can be exposed through nest.js service now changing the database, changing the ORM layer is just a simple topic which we can discuss okay because the, the main point is writing queries and mutation rest it's all about data. Data can be managed through any ORM ODM layer like Next, SQLize, Type ORM, Prisma, Mongoose and your database can be SQL or no SQL. Okay, we are going to build, we are going to build a whole lot of new GraphQL APIs, we will expose them, we will actually play with these queries and mutation through uh, API documentation, right. So that is the overall agenda. If I talk about the multiple sections, then these five sections, this whole course is divided. First, we will talk about the baseline of Nest.js GraphQL. In that also, we will talk about multiple options because Nest.js GraphQL module provides multiple options to manage the typings, manage the schema, it auto generates the schema for us. Okay, so we don't need to, we just need to worry about writing the resolvers and rest, it generates the schema for us, the typings and all. Uh, section two will be, okay, let's focus on mongoose and let's expose some user APIs or blog post APIs. Now here we are talking about the mongoose, which is going to talk about to which is going to talk to mongodb database and we will trigger the query and mutation from the console section 3 here we will replace mongoose with the type orm or any other orm odm layer let's say next next is a lightweight query builder or we can talk about the type orm which is uh, typescript heavy object oriented uh, object oriented class based orm layer which i have used heavily in my previous videos Section 4, here we are going to talk about some real world examples like blog app, user authentication, authorization using GraphQL, how to manage the exceptions coming from uh, the service layer to the GraphQL interface because GraphQL queries and mutations are different from the REST APIs. They both are using the same HTTP protocol to send get put post. In the GraphQL we will talk about only post APIs, HTTP post method you will be sending query and mutation. So how to deal with the exceptions, the messages which we are receiving and authentication authorization. Let's say you are using token based authentication then how we can protect the other APIs uh, when we are using token based authentication in the GraphQL. Another important thing is GraphQL APIs either you can create them from the scratch or you can also create some kind of a gateway. Uh, I mean GraphQL service can act as a service which is exposing the GraphQL interface or that service can act, a, a, act as a middleware which is talking to the multiple REST services and ag aggregating the data and exposing the data to the client interface. Because I don't want to write my all services from scratch in the GraphQL. I have my REST based services so I can plug this GraphQL, Nest.js GraphQL middleware on the top and that act as an API gateway and my client can access all the APIs through the GraphQL interface. That's the best way of aggregating the data coming from multiple REST-based services. And then 
I also have a thought of covering the Prisma because we already covered the Prisma ORM. Now in this video we can also talk about okay how Prisma ORM will work with the GraphQL NestJS setup. Okay so there are a lot of things to cover in the whole playlist. So stay tuned. I'm going to post these videos first because this is the old playlist and I wanted to finish this. I have already finished the ORM ODM playlist. This is all about GraphQL master playlist. So I will finish this and then I will move to my full stack clone which I hope I know that a lot of people are waiting to see the Uber Eats clone coming up. Sorry guys for the delay but things are things. I am not getting much time but whenever I am getting time I am recording my content. Uh, thank you for watching.